Hey there, welcome to Yoga Blast. I am Laurie and so glad you could join me today. It's today I have a practice to address the overall you with a particular focus on your hips. We tend to hold a lot of emotion and stress in our hips and in honor of bringing light into post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Um, I was presented with a challenge to bring awareness to this disorder and um, help to people. So um, my challenge was to do 25 push-ups a day for 25 days and challenge somebody else to do that too. So that's out there for all of you. And if you decide to do that challenge, um, tag me on social media and let me know that you're doing it. So um, if you do know somebody that needs help, lots of resources for you, ptsdalliance.org is one, and um, you know, reach out to doctors, your family physician, and there is help. So with that, we are gonna dedicate the practice to clearing some emotion, clearing some stress, and just releasing um, anything you're holding on to. So yeah, the hips can be um, kind of a emotional garage <laughs> of stagnation if uh, not tended to. So we're gonna clear some of that out today. Have a block ready, have a blanket, um, for some extra support if needed, and let's settle in. So, just taking a sigh. One more, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And a few breaths to notice what there is to notice As you begin to inhale softly, deeply, fluidly through the nostrils, in and out. Just bringing your awareness to anything that comes into your experience right now. If your eyes aren't already closed, allow them to close gently so you can bring your focus more internal. Feel the heart beating, the blood pulsating, any sensations, any thoughts, sounds, anything that comes up, just be with it. Allow it to be there. And don't judge it, just let it be there. Find some gratitude for where you are, for who you are. And then the next inhalation, bringing that through your nose, down through your heart, your core, your root into the heart, core root, the earth, root down a little bit more. Exhale, bring that energy up, a gentle press on the pelvic floor, presses the breath out, rise up a little taller through the crown, make some space and then begin taking the breath around the body and look for those areas of tension and tightness. So when you find an area that you're squeezing onto or just feels tight or stagnant, let the out breath just soften, help you release a little bit more. particular attention to your pelvic area, your hips, hip flexors. Soften. And then coming into your heart, a few breaths to observe here. This space, what's it look like, sound like, smell like, feel like. And then do some clearing. Make room, make space, blow anything that's cluttering that space up away. The bringing the intention into clear 
to let em any emotions that are holding you back, let them go. Acknowledge them and then give permission to release. So switching up to an affirmation, anything that comes to you to help refocus on a positive thought, on a, a path to take. Um, I am clear, I am free, I am open. Beautiful. So let's start moving this energy around. We're going to warm up the whole body before really digging into firing things up and blasting away those emotions that are no longer serving us. So inhaling, open that heart. Exhale, that back body opens. So leading with the sternum and then coming back as you exhale. Everything gentle, gentle for now as we warm up a little bit more. So coming from the deep core line, I'm gonna spin around a little here. So we're gonna take that breath down. Exhale, hug and lift. Inhale down, make room, make space. Let that belly go soft, let the pelvic bowl open a little more. Exhale, hug and lift, press the breath out. So let's move this. Bring the legs up, or they can stay on the floor. Inhale it up, exhale. Stay long in the spine. Hands can come down if needed. A little more. So one more here, and then we're gonna come down onto your forearms. A little chill and relax. No, not really. We're gonna kick out here. Ha, ha, extend through the heels. And the nice little power or big power, ha, ha, waking up that core, ha, 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 Nice. So let's release this and not lay on a cat all the way down. Shut your arms over your head. And then cross out your ankles, come all the way up. And let's start moving a little bit more. Pedal out your feet as you come up to a down dog. Hands are wide, fingertips spread. Strong finger pads. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Take a wave through to a plank. Tap those knees down, leave the belly and shoulders lifted as you come to a cobra. Back to a down dog, inhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Hop or step those feet under your knees. Find a wave here. Booty comes back and take yourself all the way up, supported from that lower front spine. Nice. Inhale it up. Exhale, booty goes back. <sighs> Release something. Hands go back down. Step or hop back to your down dog. Inhale, exhale, Kali breath. <sighs> Stick that tongue out more. Find a way back to that plank. Awesome. Tap your knees down lower. And bring it back up to your down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Take that right leg up. Knee comes in towards your chest. Inhale it up again. Bring it in towards your chest. One more. And bring it back in. Exhale, exhale. Step the right foot toward the right thumb. Bend that back leg and find a wave. Bend the back leg again. Press down through your feet. Lift up. Inhale it up. Exhale, fist the fire. Starting to warm up the hips and hip flexors a little more. Bring your awareness into these areas. And careful with your alignment. Toes are in line with your knees always. Beautiful knees not going past your heel. One more. Extend through that back leg. As you extend through the arms, keep that lower belly in and up, lifted, support. And exhale, release. Plant those hands back. Take that right leg back and shake it out. You can stack your right hip over your left for a little more release there. And take your right leg back down. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Left leg's coming up now. Exhale towards your chest. Take it back up. 
Exhale, back in towards your chest. Right knee can be down for this. Exhale, exhale. Set that left foot forward. So a reminder to take care of yourself during this practice. Challenge yourself as you bend that back leg. Press on up, but still honor where you are. Inhale it up. So lunge it down. Exhale, fist the fire, come down. Switch up the breath when you need to. Please be free through your mouth when you need more oxygen. One more. Down, extend through that back leg. Mm. Stretch it on up. Exhale. Bend over that front leg, release. Left leg's coming back. Take it up, shake it out. And then stack your left hip over your right hip. Breathe there a breath or two. And take that left foot back down. Bend your arms and your legs, wave back to your plank, tap the knees down lower. Maybe you're ready for an up dog, maybe cobra is still right for you. Press your hands into the earth. Open up through the heart a little more. Pointed plank or come through to child's. And back to down dog, inhale, exhale. So bend here, a little hop or a step brings you back up, feet under your hips. Elongate the spine with a nice wave. Thing, fingers on your shins or in front of you. Booty comes back, lift yourself up again. And take that booty back and twist this chair to the right. Back up, take it down, twist it to the left. Press into both of those feet. And take it up one more time, twist it to the right, and back to the left. This time come down, booty comes back, release more. Strong hands, strong fingertips, hop it back to your down dog, find a way up here. Again, and we're gonna pause here and do a few push-ups in honor of that challenge. So knees can be down or up. I don't know if this counts toward my 25, but <laughs> just do a few. And when you think you can't do any more, do one more. Nice. Bring it back up. Stretch it out back to a child. Breathe here for a breath. And back up to your down dog. Hop it back up or step it back up. Find that wave and take yourself nice and supported. Back up. So shake it out. Come to the center, long edge of your mat. And we're going to start turning up the heat now even more. So still, and I'm warming up. Shake it out. Get loose. Bounce on your toes, or you can just step more in the ball for feet. Not really on your toes, but you know what I mean. So little jabs with the right arm. So left arm is up and protecting your face, kind of chin height. Step this out as you punch. Exhale, hug and lift. Give yourself that support. Exhale, exhale, exhale. You can take a little more bounce in this. Have some fun. Turn up the music. So, we'll do just a few more here. And let's take this corner to corner. So step over to the left, open to the right. Step over and open. So once you get the movement, you can move it a little sassier. Exhale, really punch. Just don't snap your joint. But you can really put some force and direction into these punches. So one more. Take that right foot back, left foot forward. And you get a straight punch with the left arm. So come around. So let's switch that up to back and forth. Punch it. 
exhale. Spin around on the back leg as that straight punch comes from the right this time. Left arms up. Back to jab and cross. And take it to the center. Inhale it up. Squat it to the left. Back to center. Squat to the right. Back to center. Booty goes back. Toes in line with the heels. One more. Each side. And a little jab on the left now. Left foot's coming forward. Right foot's back. Right arm is up and ready in case it's needed. So breathe here, exhale, exhale. A little more bounce, a little more sass, or a little less. Either way, or stay where you are. And exhale, wherever you are. Little body scan, little check-in. Are your shoulders up in your ears? Are you using things that you don't need to? Are you clenched and really just too overly um, squeezing areas that you don't need to? So take an assessment. Where do you want to fire up? And make that punch a little more powerful. And we're going to cross this. Left over to the right, step, open to the left. If you're in corner, corner of your room. And then when you get it, start putting a little more fire in it. Exhale. Always helps. Also helps you release the gases that you're burning here and creating. Yes. And one more. Corner, corner. Step back with that left foot. And a few punches with the right now. Yeah. And then we're going to switch this both. So as I'm punching with the left, I'm spinning on that left ball of the foot. And we'll pause on the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternate. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Just left. Three, four, five. Hug and lift. Awesome. Give it a breath and let a Kali breath out here. And then bring it up. Your right leg's going to come up. Right knee and then left knee. Right knee and then left knee. Inside to the outside. Arms up and engaged. In and out. In and out. Nice. And we're going to switch this up a little. Go in to out and then back with the same leg. In and out. Out and in. Switch legs. Out and in. So give you a little moment to catch your breath. But working on that range of motion in your hips. Nice. Exhale, exhale. As you engage, give yourself a little more support, a little more fire. And one more. Nice. Big inhale here. Step up to the front of your mat and let's move some of this through a vinyasa. Take it down. Weave your spine long. Plant strong hands down, bend your knees as much as you need you to get there. Hop it back. Inhale, exhale. And oh, find a wave to your plank. Tap the knees down lower. Shoulders stay lifted. Pointed plank or come through child's. Back to your down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Bend those legs, wave back to your plank. Because we're doing more push-ups. Yeah. So be focused, be dedicated to clearing, 
creating power, but also knowing when to back off a little bit and get a little nurture in. Squeeze your wrist out. Time for the nurture part. Shake them out. Clasp your hands behind your back and open that up, chest up a bit. Open the heart. And let's come back up into your down dog. Awesome. Inhale, exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Take that right leg up. Bring it in again. Exhale, exhale. Step the right foot toward the right thumb. Wave your spine, find some length, and you take yourself over your left shoulder. Wiggle it out here. So this helps release and put your hips back in a neutral alignment also. Booty goes back, toes in line with your knees, supported, strong, coming up, beautiful, into that collie. Hop it back in to the center, hop it back out. You can step this too. Or hop it, little baby chair, hop it to your temple. Hop it, baby chair, hop to your temple. One more, and out, take it back. All right, inhale it up again, <sighs> release. So we're gonna take the same idea that we did before with a straight leg now. So back and forth. Well, let's just focus on one leg though. So squeeze, suck it up, in and up, press down through the root of that standing left leg and again depending on your hips will dictate which um, level how high this goes <laughs> that's what i'm trying to find so you can pretend someone's holding a stick out that you need to get that leg up and over again wherever up and over is or you can have someone hold a stick. So you have to get it up and over. Whew. Exhale. Exhale. And let's give that a little shake out. Bring that foot back into your right hand. You'll pause like you're going to go into a dancer. But release. And then extend the left leg, right leg out, flexing, and do a little speed bag here. So open up the back of the leg too. Inhale it up, exhale it down. I'm so good at the speed bag when there's no actual speed bag there. So, and you notice if you stick your booty out a little bit more as you come down, the stretch is gonna be a little more intense. So pick your happy spot, one more. In and down. Beautiful. Give it a breath. Root down on the right side. And left leg's going to come up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Little micro bend in the standing leg. You're not locked out. And again, pick your height. If it's excruciating to go higher, Take it down a little. Give yourself the kindness, the compassion that you deserve. And don't force these. There's a difference between really going for it and challenging yourself and being stubborn and pushing through when you need to back off a little. But only you know um, what that point is. And be mindful, dig down, and let's do one more. Yes, inhale it up, clasp onto that left foot behind your booty, release, let it go. Feel that hip flexor opening, lengthening, releasing, and then extend the left leg out, flex your toes, 
hit that speed back. So even with this, toes in line with the knees, booty's going back, taking the pressure off that right leg, off that right knee. Wave it up, wave it down. Supported from that lower front spine. Awesome. And as you come up, press down through that right foot. As you inhale and exhale. One more. Nice. Take it back up. Either step to your temples and baby squats or hop it in, hop it out. Hop it out, hop it in. And one more. Nice. Take it up again. Come into a little warrior two to release here. Right foot's facing forward, left heels stepping back a bit, toes in line with that left knee. And move this. One more. Right arm's gonna come back. Come through like you're coming through side angle, right arms coming to right leg, but then take yourself down and around to the other side. Inhale it back and windmill. Let's move this energy around. Tap those knees down lower. Up dog cobra. Pointed plank or come through child's back to down dog. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Another inhale, exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Inhale, prepare. And then extend the left leg up. Bring it in towards your chest. Exhale, exhale. Step toward your left thumb. Take yourself over your right shoulder to that long edge of your mat. Wiggle it back and forth. Hands comfortable on the floor, in the air, on your legs, on a brick. Wiggle it out. Booty's going back now in, set, also in a central alignment. Take yourself up. Hop it in. I'm just going to come here and now back to the right leg bent coming up and around this time up and around and you're going to switch this to a crescent kick so knees coming up and then legs going to open and extend the knee can be up can be here and open lower up can be higher take it around when you get the movement, maybe put a little movement into the movement and step the left foot forward, step back and around. Take it around, make something up, be creative with it. Step. And I'm gonna step my left foot in now. I'm finding a groove here. So I'm gonna stick with this you stick with whatever's working for you as whew, this is working everything so as I snap that leg around I'm still not putting extra pressure on my knee it's not totally flying out there it's so controlled whew. and whew, one more yes take it up and let's take this down and release that a little bit. So bend into one leg, bend that left leg. Take your right arm up to your right hip and alternate. Take a breath and hold the pose wherever it's working for you or keep it moving, alternating. And as you come back to center, booty goes back, lift it up, and you're going to take the right leg up and around. Knee comes up and around. You can stay here, or you can turn it into your crescent kick. So, low, or higher. Have some fun with it. 
but be mindful that you're not over doing it. Standing legs strong and supported, little bend, exhale, exhale. If you want to move it, you can start to move it. Step in. The breathing, I know I'm breathing heavy too. Breathing through your mouth helps tremendously. And activating your core as you exhale up and around. Squeeze up and lift. And come on, you got three more in you. One, two, blast it away. Yes. Inhale it up, take it down, bend your legs to come down and release, bending the right leg, left arm comes onto your left hip, switch it up, nice, again hold and linger where you find necessary and then bring yourself back up, pop your legs back to that temple, turn your left foot to face the front back edge of your mat and adjust your back leg. Heel comes up and around so your toes facing comfortably on an angle. Inhaling this up and down. Bending for a few breaths, opening back up. So a lot of times we hear open hips, open hips, open hips. You also need supported strong hips. But you could be holding on to things, turn that left palm up, take it around, and spiral it, go through your vinyasa as I chat, <laughs> tap those knees down. And you could be constantly squeezing and holding your hips. Do you pause in a down dog or a child's? Or you might need some strength and support in your hips as well. So it's a nice balance. So not always just going to the fullest extent of flexibility. Need some stability in there as well. Another breath here to realign with your affirmation, with your intention. <sighs> I am strong, I am open, clear of toxic emotion. Beautiful. And let's wave this back to a plank. Take it back up. Bend your arms, bend your legs here. Hop it forward. And get a front kick. Right, front kick left. Take it back. Throw a push up in. <laughs> Take it back up. Booty comes back. Press up. Front kick left, front kick right. You can put a squat in there. Hop it back. Push up. Take it up. Front kick right, front kick left. Back down. Push up. Knees can be down or up. Front kick, front kick. Yes, fire it up for just a few more. Front kick left, front kick right. Knees can be down on the push up. You can eliminate it or really go for it. Let's do one more. Take it back, push up, come on. Hop it up, front kick, front kick. You are awesome. And take yourself up. Back to that warrior. Windmill it or exalted warrior down. And then take it down and around. Back to the other side. Take it back, down, around. Back to the back edge of your mat. Exalted back. Take it forward. And to the front. We're going to windmill this now and whew, take yourself back to the front of the mat. Tap your knees down, lower, and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs, hop up. 
knees. We're doing this again, but with back kick, back kick. Take it down, push up, pop it up, back kick, right, whoops, back kick left, take it back, and when you hop back, leave a little bend there, you don't want to hop back to, totally to your plank, take it up, exhale, back, and whoop, back kick, back kick, and take it back, and mindfully, I wasn't so mindful the last one because I did front kicks, but oh well, bring yourself back in, one more, a little hop just to say we're done let's take this down Whew. wiggle it out step that right foot back step that left foot back big victory breath exhale it out inhale again exhale weave this through a more gentle flow let's move your back down to a cobra Draw your booty back through a child, and then back up to a down dog. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Flow this as long as you need to. You can wave it back, and then when you are ready, when you feel your heart rate is down enough, don't want just gonna drop down and stop. You definitely wanna give yourself a chance to, if you're breathing through your mouth, let that nose breathing take over again when it's right and then settle into a nice restorative child's knee spread a little bit you can use a brick under your torso under your forehead for support or a blanket hands can come back and just be there for a few breaths Check back in, observe without judgment. Notice what there is to notice. Soften a little more. And realign with that intention with your affirmation. I am open, I am strong and clear of toxic emotion, healthy, healthy emotion. And as you're ready, coming back up. And scooch to the top of your mat for a bit. And just give yourself a nice little massage. Hands can be behind your legs or on your shins, whichever's more comfortable and then cross your legs or cross your ankles and just step back up to a gentle down dog. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, prepare, bend your arms, bend your legs. Take that right leg up, bring your knee in towards your chest and right knee is gonna go toward your right thumb and the um, foot is just out a little of an angle. You can bring in a blanket here to support underneath your hip as well, like so. I'm just gonna remove this for a breath to show you. Now, a lot of times we're taught to get that foot power or the leg, foreleg parallel to the front of the mat and to dump out, completely let loose in your hips. So what I want you to do is one, keep some integrity in your hips. So you don't wanna to go to your full extension here. Keep some, maybe you can even bring your hands up off the floor as you inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Squeeze and release. Flick their toes back. We'll point your toes first and then flick your toes back. And that'll help protect your knee a little more. And if you feel like you wanna, you have a little more openness and you want that foot to be, um, to extend out a little farther, pull yourself back. Draw yourself back 
rather than yanking your foot forward. Your joints will be much happier. So wave this. So point your foot, flex your toes. That helps protect the integrity of your knee. And wave this. Again, still not totally releasing everything you have into your hip. Leave some integrity there. Take that blanket back and put that into place. You can come down on your forearms. And just breathe. Pause. Savor where you are. And allow your body to release as it's ready. Give it permission. Permission to let go. So linger here, or if you're ready, take yourself back up. Any other variations that you want to do, go ahead and do them. And we're just gonna take this back. Point your, your toes under, Whew, release that right leg. Give a, a few little alternating bends of the knees here. Take the right leg up and stack your right hip over the left hip again. Go back down and take the right leg up, I mean the left leg, knees coming toward that left wrist, and the foot is at a comfortable angle. You don't want to come all the way over onto that left hip now, to keep yourself neutral. Toes going to be pointed, or foot's going to be pointed, toes are flexed back. Beautiful. And I'm going to bring in this blanket so you can see how supported you can be. You can even fold that up again. Let the toes flatten out on the other side or on the right side. And find a wave here in your pigeon. And again, if you find you have more space, you can draw yourself back. And that'll achieve that same angle if you're going toward getting your leg parallel to the front edge of your mat but in a healthier safer way so draw yourself back as your body allows it no rush to be any certain shape pause linger savor again give yourself permission to open to let go to free yourself of anything toxic that you're holding on to. Replace it with love and light, with that strength and power, clear, bright you. Feel free to linger when you're ready. Draw yourself back up. Remove any prop. Curl your toes back under and take yourself up. Shake it out, stack that left over the right hip. And take this down again. And from here, it's playtime. You're gonna come down to recline on your mat. Give yourself a hug. And just let yourself be totally supported, totally in tune as you bring your feet down now. Pause here for a few breaths. Tap into your guidance. Now, all this clearing and moving and creating space makes room for that guidance to come in and see where you need to go now. What needs attention? Press pause and just be guided. Come back when you are ready. And take a breath and just extend yourself out into a full resting pose. If it's more comfortable, allow your legs to be bent. Any support that you need, please give yourself. Inhale, exhale, sigh. 
Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. One more. And then just breathe through your nose, inhaling, exhaling gently, smoothly, rhythmically. Allow yourself to go deeper and deeper relaxed with each breath. Release a little more with each breath. Scan the body, look around, be curious, anything else you can find that needs to be cleared out. Let the out breath help you soften and clear. Stay here three to five minutes or longer if you have it. And press pause and come back when you're ready. Fully at ease, fully relaxed, fully cleared, and clear. So when you're ready, begin deepening the breath, wiggling fingers and toes, and anything, any kind of movement you need to bring yourself back, rolling over to one side before coming to a comfortable seat. Allow your eyes to remain closed for a few more breaths as you ground down and just take a few breaths. Inhale through your heart, your core, your root into the heart core and root of the earth. Exhale, bring that energy up. Press the breath out, elongate through the crown and just come back to your intention, to your affirmation. Open, strong, clear, restored, clear of anything that's holding you back. And thank you for joining me today. It's always an honor. Find another breath to find some gratitude. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.